When Monique Sullivan defends her double Pan Am gold medals this July, she'll be wearing a special helmet, one that transcends her sport. So it brings more meaning to the race for me beyond just what the result ends up being. Meaning that comes from collaborating with a very special artist. Just a year ago, 16-year-old Joel Jameson spent most of his time in hospital on dialysis four times a week. That was just torture pretty much and it was very, it was a very tough life. Kind of hard to think of yourself as normal, yeah. but now everything's different, life's different, so whole uh, new opportunities, new life. Like new life courtesy of a kidney new transplant, the, new opportunities like designing Monique Sullivan's Pan Am cycling helmet with the help of professional artist Kelsey Fraser. And that's where like the words could be. Jameson has been sketching since he was a young kid, but he really finessed his art during those endless hours in hospital. That was something that I found uh, you know, that I had a passion for and I enjoyed a lot, so yeah. Did you escape into it in any way? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's this artwork project is part of Helmets for Heroes, a program started by Canadian alpine skier Brad Spence. After meeting 17-year-old cancer patient and artist Jillian Oblines Kaufman in hospital, he asked her to turn his helmet for the Olympic Games in Sochi into a work of her art. Wow. <laughs> Oblines Kaufman died just nine months later. But Helmets for Heroes lives on, pairing up young artists with serious illnesses and elite athletes. This is definitely her legacy that, that has spawned this whole thing, and, and I'm proud to, to wear that, that badge on my chest. Last year, Sam Edney slid his way into Canadian sports history, wearing the very next helmet for heroes. He became the first Canadian to win a men's World Cup in Luge. Edney was so inspired wearing his helmet, he brought its young artist, Richard Flamenco, who suffers a serious painful skin condition, to the podium with him. Yeah! Now, as Jameson and Fraser go about the very precise work of painting Monique Sullivan's helmet... Yeah, don't feel like afraid to add more paint on the brush as well. Yeah. Can they can only hope it will bring similar results. Art can, like, propel people to do great things, and, like, this is proof of that. Yeah. So it'll be neat to see Monique's experience and how she feels with the helmet. Her helmet will be decorated with the Rocky Mountains and a flaming maple leaf. And hidden in those flames, two secret words that Sullivan is only too happy to reveal. Love and joy. <laughs> those are my two secret words. They may also be the secret words that inspires Helmets for Heroes. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.